A patent is a right to exclude others granted by the government to inventors for their invention. I'm going to explain the benefits and pitfalls of getting a patent. And by the end of the video, you'll know the one reason you ought to consider getting a patent for your product. With a patent, you can tell other people to stop making, using, selling, and importing your invention into the United States. That's the first and primary benefit of a patent. If the competition wants to introduce a product similar to your product, they would have to offer a product that doesn't infringe on your patent. They would have to spend time and energy differentiating their product from your patent. The second benefit of a patent is that it acts as a deterrent even against large companies. Large companies have more money, better marketing, established distribution channels. Startups and small companies are on a budget and don't have all of those resources. But despite the disparities, larger companies must still respect your patent. Otherwise they risk being shut down later on and liable for damages. The third benefit of a patent is that it allows you to sell your idea. It defines in clear terms what is and isn't protected and what you're offering to the buyer. With a patent, you aren't just selling an idea, you're selling the right to tell the competition to stop. What are the pitfalls to a patent? A primary pitfall to a patent is the cost. The cost to get a patent could be significant and range between $15,000 to $25,000. Startups have a hard time knowing whether they will make money. If they knew that, the patent cost wouldn't be a problem. However, any money they put into the patent process in the beginning is money that they might not get back later on through sales. It's also money that they would not be able to put into marketing and product development. Another pitfall is that a patent may not stop a competitor. The patent that you get may be too narrow. Despite these pitfalls, here's the reason you should consider getting a patent. Now let me correct that. Here's the reason that you should at least file a provisional patent application or PPA and it's to prepare for future success. By filing the PPA, you preserve your right to get a patent later on if your product is a success. Otherwise, you won't even have the option to get a patent to stop others from copying your product. Once you decide to launch your product or business, you should consider filing a provisional patent application because it's just a part of the planning process for if and when your product does succeed. Let's talk about the different types of patents granted by the United States Patent and Trademark Office or the USPTO. The USPTO grants three types of patents, utility patents for functional inventions, design patents for ornamental inventions, and plant patents for asexually reproducing plants. The term for a utility patent and plant patent is 20 years and 15 years for a design patent. If you want to know more about the patent process, please subscribe to my channel.